Hey, what's up, guys? I want to check in with you real quick on this Saturday morning. Hope you all have been doing well. I want to let you guys know what I am doing. Um, I decided to go with a two-team parlay. Uh, it's going to be for this week and next week, all right? Um, on BetMGM, I played for the Benavidez plant fight to not go the distance at a minus 225. Parlayed with the AJ Franklin fight, not going the distance at a minus 400. You put those two together, you get a minus 125. All right, that's not too far from even money. So, uh, you know, I think uh, you know good odds on two things that are likely to happen. Now, I will admit that I am a bit more nervous about the Benavidez plant fight. You know, not going to distance in AJ Franklin. You know, I, the AJ Franklin fight, I have no doubts or words at all. Um, actually, and the reason I said the other day that the minus 400 uh, from Bet MGM was a, a good line on that prop was because pretty much everywhere else has it like around a minus 600, minus 550, you know, minus 500. So, you know, minus 400 was uh, very good because. You know, Franklin has a, a, a poor gas tank or, you know, at least when he got to the later rounds in the in the Dillian White fight, he was gassing. And, um, you know, we know about AJ's chin and all that. So and AJ's power and, you know, Franklin's only hope is to to, to get a knockout. He's not going to outbox Anthony Joshua. All right. And, and Franklin's calling for the KO. You know, if he gets aggressive, he could open himself up, be, you know, getting KO'd and AJ's punch you know all that so uh i definitely don't see that fight going the distance all right now uh when it comes to benavidez and plant tonight um i am expecting uh, you know my my prediction for the fight is for uh benavidez to get a stoppage on caleb plant all right um but at the same time, you know, I decided to play it safe because, you know, as I watched film, uh, when Benavidez was dropped for the first time in his career, it was by a left hook, you know, which was the same punch that Caleb Plant knocked out Darrell with, all right. Uh, now, it would be very shocking if Caleb Plant stopped Benavidez, uh, you know, but, you know, I, I have to respect Caleb Plant's punch regardless of what his record has been, you know coming off a one punch KO against the real even if he was older you know the fact that he could you know one punch sleep a guy I gotta respect that and uh Benavidez does fight with his hands down he's he's an aggressive fighter he goes forward you know uh that's how he got knocked down when he got knocked down he, he had his hands down it was late in the fight he was tired he had his hands down he was walking forward he, he was unprotected he got hit with a left hook and he went down all right um so, you know, I, I decided to uh, play it safe. Um, the best line on it initially was a minus 125 at FanDuel. And now it is up to a minus 145. Uh, I think on BetMGM, it was a minus 150. Uh, you know, so instead of taking a minus 150, I'm just going to cover myself both ways with a minus 225, all right, before the fight's not going to distance. Uh, you know, when, when you factor in Benavidez's, you know, power, his punch, his desire to always get stoppages, and especially in this fight with it being bad blood, you know, uh, I, I think there would be times where these guys would be exchanging, and uh, it is a possibility that there will be a stoppage in this fight. I think a good possibility. Uh, you know, could Benavidez be reckless and aggressive? and be exposed to the head and, and get caught and get hurt and not be able to recover. You know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm respecting Caleb Plant's punch, uh, especially that left hook after what he did in the last fight, all right? Um, so, you know, that's why I decided also, you know, I watched the uh, Benavidez fight against uh, Kyr as a Kyron or Kyron Davis. Uh, you know, guys, uh, and I, I did not hear anybody mention this, not that I've watched much coverage anyways, but, um, Caleb Plant's trainer, uh, this bread man Edwards, he was the trainer for, uh, Kyron Davis against 
Dave Benavidez in 2021, all right? And, uh, you know, I was hearing him. He was, he was, you know, once he, once uh, David started taking, you know, some punishment, it really wasn't even to the point to where it really should have been stopped, in my opinion. He was threatening to, to pull the plug, to pull the guy out to fight, all right? He, I think he may have gave him, like, another two, three rounds after he initially said it. But, you know, that was very, you know, very key to me. You know, if, if he sees this guy in trouble, if he sees uh, Caleb Plant, you know, taking damage against Benavidez, you know, I think, you know, he could be the same way, could be tempted to stop the fight. All right. And ultimately, he threw the towel in on Davis. All right. Uh, who, who was courageous in the fight. Uh, I don't even know if, if he officially went down in that fight. Um, I, I don't think he did. I, I can't remember. But uh, he, he was just taking a lot of punishment, all right? And it was, you know, kind of getting one-sided. Now, at the point he stopped it, I, I agree with the stoppage. David was out, he was out of gas. You know, his, his punches were, were not the same as they were earlier. He was getting hit more flush. You know, the uh, body punch and the punch to the head took his toll. But uh, I, I found that very interesting, guys. This bread man Edwards, he has coached against Benavidez in the past. He was defeated by him. Uh, he, he had a good strategy for uh, for Davis. Davis was fighting well, but uh, ultimately he, uh, you know, failed to uh, David Benavidez. And uh, when the going got tough, he was ready to th pull the guy out to get out the fight, man. So, you know, um, I think that's something to keep in mind, guys. So, I think really that's it, guys. You know, those are my plays uh, at a minus 125 parlay on BetMGM. Both the Plant Benavidez fight and the AJ fight with Franklin. Both not going a distance. You put them together, you get a minus 125. So uh, that's it. Cover myself both ways on both of those fights. Uh, I also will be putting some money on uh, Jermaine Franklin. Uh, to win by KO at a plus 1500 on FanDuel. You know, that is a great line. You know, and, and just in case he can hit AJ and drop him, you know, and multiple times and possibly get a stoppage on this guy. You know, a guy who's been shaky in the past, who's been hit and, you know, and, and been stopped. Plus 1500, I'll take it. All right, I will take it. Just in case, you know, somebody shocks the world again against AJ. So that's it. You know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you place wages, good luck to you tonight. Enjoy the fights. Uh, I will try to do a post fight, but I am expecting somebody to get stopped in this in this bad blood fight. Benavidez will be aggressive. He will be going for a stoppage, as he always does, power punching. And, uh, you know, could plant catch him and hurt him. You know, uh, you know, so I think it's a possibility either way. But I'm favoring Benavidez to stop Caleb Plant. Uh, you know, now if the fight does go to distance, I will not be shocked. All right, because these are two high level fighters. Caleb Plant went into the 11 with Canelo. Uh, but you know, Benavidez has only had what three decision fights. One early in his career went a full six, and then his first two uh title fights went uh the full 12. You know, but other than that, all his fights have uh been stoppages. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. Enjoy the fights. Make some money tonight. And I'll check in with you soon. Thanks for watching.